Clock towers. Many big cities have one of their own. And if you ever take a tour of Shanghai, you'll likely come to this historical bun area. And you'll most definitely hear this. There's a fascinating story behind this clock, its tune, and the building. You can pretty much guess what this building is about from the decor in the lobby. There's the Staff of Hermes, the symbol of international trade, and mosaics of merchant ships. From the 19th century to today, this has been the custom house of Shanghai. The building has gone through several makeovers, and this neoclassical style incarnation was built in 1927 in the British settlement. It was the tallest building on the Bund at the time that showed all the incoming foreign merchant ships what the local time was. In the 1850s, the Qing government was busy with a series of domestic rebellions. And during the chaotic time, the British took over the power of customs in the Shanghai settlement. So for a long time after, Shanghai's customs operations were in the hand of this guy, called Robert Hart. And the Qing government praised him for doing a pretty good job, as he modernized Shanghai's custom system and made it more in line with the world's standards. Most merchants preferred him to the ineffective and incredibly corrupt Qing officials. Since the customs house was in British control, naturally, it chimed the Westminster quarters. This tune will be forced to change a century later. To understand why, here's what you need to know. Back in the day, these majestic buildings really had nothing much to do with the average Chinese person, except for a handful of elites. During the Second World War, the settlements were the only places that the invading Japanese army didn't dare to touch out of fear of provoking the British and the Americans. So you can imagine now what many Chinese people felt about these buildings. The structures are absolutely beautiful and well-designed, and their roles in Shanghai's history have by no means been all negative. Still, many Chinese saw the buildings as symbols of their country's century of humiliation. So in 1966, the onset of China's Cultural Revolution, when the whole nation was in a frenzy to purge capitalistic thoughts, the Westminster Quarter Chimes became very sensitive. The solution was to change the music to The East is Red. A song that praises Chairman Mao, the one we hear today. In fact, many other clock towers across China had changed their tunes to this since the Cultural Revolution. But for Shanghai, it wasn't always this way in the past several decades. In 1986, the Queen of England visited China. And to show goodwill, the chime of the Shanghai Custom House was changed back to the Westminster quarters. It wasn't until 2003 when the tune was again changed back to the East is Red. Now let's talk about this clock, the crown jewel of the custom house. Many Chinese articles online say this clock is a sister to London's Big Ben. Where does that come from? Well, the custom house bell was designed by British clockmaker J.B. Joyce. But while there is one BBC article that says J.B. Joyce were somehow involved in the building of the Big Ben, the company obviously did not design it. So are there still any truths behind the thought that the pair are sister clocks? There are. On the official website of Smith of Derby, the company that acquired J.B. Joyce, you can find this description of the Shanghai Custom House. The clock and bell mechanisms are built according to the design of London's Big Ben. I guess we can call them sister clocks after all. The September 22nd, 1927 issue of the London Times wrote, A huge clock made at Whitchurch by J.B. Joyce has been sent to Shanghai for the new Chinese Maritime Customs House. The clock, weighing nearly 30 tons, will probably be the Big Ben of the Far East. J.B. Joyce claimed to be the oldest clock manufacturer in the world. The company also designed clocks for iconic locations such as the Cape Town City Hall and the General Post Office of Sydney. Today, the Shanghai Custom House is a famous backdrop for wedding photos and remains an office building. I have to thank the China Communications Construction Company for granting us access to the 9th floor terrace. 
check out this view.